It's Friday, June 7th, 2024, and welcome to this week's Wins of the Week. Our first win today comes out of Ohio, where the uh, Ohio House passed a bill to ban foreign interference in Ohio elections. Under current state and federal law, it is illegal for foreign nationals to donate to candidates, but ballot issues are on the table. So by extending the current law to ban foreign donations to state ballot issues, this legislation is going to protect Ohio's election integrity and ensure foreign influence does not affect our election results. What's great about the bill, folks, it's going to ban direct and indirect contributions from foreign nationals. Step one, ban the World Health Organization and the World Economic Forum goons from swaying Ohio elections. Step two, ban progressive states from spending money to sway Ohio elections. Future win? Hopefully so. Speaking of the World Health Organization folks in a major win, the WHO pandemic treaty has been defeated. The treaty was about to give a foreign entity authoritarian control over how countries would respond to the next pandemic, which they're already planning, I'm sure, by giving them power to mandate lockdowns, vaccines, and vaccine passports. After two years of trying to negotiate a treaty, it is officially dead for now. So, of course, the communist in chief of the WHO, whose name I am certain to butcher, Tedros Adhanom. Gehebrisus said they will try again in the future. In fact, they're going to try again in July. He says, quote, what matters now is when we do learn from this and how we can reset things, recalibrate things, identify the main challenges, and then move on. Mark my words, Mr. Gehebrisus, you are going to try again, and we are going to defeat you again. And on a lighter note, folks, in our final win of the week, a homeless man filed a lawsuit against East Bay Tire Company in California for playing classical music too loud near his encampment. Bruce Gaylord, who is the homeless man, said, quote, The first night, I got to bed at 1 a.m. The second night, I got no sleep during the night. And the third night, Sunday night, I had no way to get any sleep. Come on, guys. He's already homeless. At least let the man get some sleep. He doesn't need to be hearing Bach's 109th Overture in C minor at one in the dang morning. Well, it turns out he won his lawsuit. So congrats to you, Bruce. You made it to this week's Wins of the Week, and you earned it. Folks, no matter what they are telling you in the corporate press, no matter what garbage they're throwing at you, no matter how many times they tell you you're wrong, you're losing, you're on the wrong side of history, uh, uh, not so fast, we are winning. Tune in next Friday and every Friday for more wins. And folks, don't forget to check out my other show, Anatomy of the Church and State. Follow me everywhere. You consume your media, Spotify, Rumble, YouTube, Apple Podcasts. I'm everywhere, folks, at Jesus and Liberty, Anatomy of the Church and State. Check it out. We'll see you next Friday. Jesus and freedom over everything. God bless.